Hello, this is a, uh, a video showing the uh, Funko Paranoid being fused up together. I've had a uh, couple of requests to do this from uh, Pyromad and Kashif Hanif, so a big shout out, to, shout out to those two. So yeah, I thought I'd do a video. Just Right, so what you make sure is all these uh, these cakes are in the right order. So I'll just have a check it, so it's cake A, yep. This one's cake B, yep. Cake C. Cake D, Cake E, and Cake F. So basically, this is the front here. So, so it's the starting first cake, and the last cake is at the back where the lid is. So here you got the start fuse. Then you link up two, these two fuses together. I've taken the um, stickers off these fuses. To see how they uh, link in between each of the cakes. Uh, and these two fuses want to peel off, these two, these two, and these two, and then a fuse back there. That's the uh, reserve fuse, just in case you need it. So basically, what I did is I peel the um, stickers off, and then I basically peel apart the paper off as well to see where the, uh, the tube goes down there. As you can see, it might be a bit difficult to see. You can see, basically see where it goes down there. So this is basically so I can get the uh, fuses as tight together as possible. To try and reduce the, uh, to basically to min minimise the uh, delay between each cake. So I'll get the others peeled off. So basically peel that, that off. So basically a yeah, number, based on each of the cakes you got uh, one. You basically got this is that's one, and you got two, then one, two, and so on. So yeah, that's one, two, one, two, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, and that's the reserve at the back there. So I peel this off like so, and then uh, if you peel the top of the paper off, no idea. I personally like to uh, peel the paper off as well. Makes it creates a lot, a lot less mess as well. So yeah, you can see that fuse is quite long, and peel this one off as well. Basically, by peeling the paper off, you can get the, uh, the fuses, as I've mentioned earlier, you get the fuses closer together. So you can see that one jumps down to there, and you can should be able just to. Then you can pinch them together like that. So on these two here. A bit of delay between that one, mm. possibly. So I've got those two like that, those two go together like that. 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 And that. Now, what I'll be doing in this video is I'll be um, joining up together using um, aluminium foil tape. But you can use other tapes as well, like masking tape or electrical tape, or we could use um, little cable ties. So I'll be just showing that very, very shortly. So, this here is the aluminium foil tape I'm using. I've cut off a little strip already. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to join these two fuses together. Right, so I'm going to stick these two fuses together. There's a little strip of tape out there, it is. Right. Yeah, just bear with me as I peel the tape off. <laughs> right, finally got it off. So, what I'm going to do is try and uh, get these as close together at the bottom here. So basically, so basically, pretty much touch each touch each other, like so, and then stick the tape on like this. Oops, stuck to my fingers. It's a daisy. 
and you just really stick it together like that. Like that as well. That's a bit wonky, let's get it straight. There we go. Yeah, just make sure we touch together. Continuously touching and then wrap it around like this. So yeah, it's basically got really good contact on there, so just put a bit of extra tape on the top. So yeah, basically, so it's basically got really loads, loads of good contact. So it should be guaranteed to like next to like the next views. Uh, what you could do is you could always put a bit of um, fast visco between there and there as well, but just for this purpose, just be um, showing how it should how it's normally done. Then what you want to do is pop the fuse on down the side there, and then you could just use either the supplied stickers or um, just a bit more tape to stick it down the side. So what you don't want to happen is for the um, the fuse is like sticking over one of the tubes, it could get shot out, and then yeah, the cake could potentially stop firing, which wouldn't be very good. So I'll stick it down the side there. And then on this side, they're all on the same side, so on this side you want to take this um, blue foam out, just allow it to just be easy. There we go. Yeah, and remember to put this uh, foam back in as well afterwards. And yeah, these ones are pinched together quite easily like that, so... Just cut a bit of tape. Here. There we go. And pinch them down to the bottom here, like so. It's a little bit fiddly doing this, but so uh, you should get the hang of this. Make sure the paper's not on there. So yeah. So yeah, it's really good contact on there. What about there? Make sure. It's That should be really good contact with the fuse, and then just squeeze it down like that. And pop it down the side like that, so... Yeah, so basically rip it out for the other ones, and hopefully should all be nicely fused up together. So what I'm going to do is going to get the rest of these fuses up together, and show you what it will be like when it's finished. So just coming up to the last one to fuse together. So you basically want to join them up to just to recap, you just want to join it just by there, just, just where it's um where the two bits of brown paper meet like that, so yeah, so join it like that. So I'm nearly done with this. There's a little bit fiddly doing this, if you've not done this before, can just take your time doing it. I hope by fusing like this I should minimise the uh, delay between each of the cakes. Uh, as I imagine What's below the uh, brown paper here? It's just probably like faster fuse. It's probably something like lightning fuse or fast visco. And pitch them together like that. And basically, I'm running it like that, all close together. It's got maximum contact as well, so it should a really good chance of igniting between each of the cakes. So that's it. And then uh, what you want to do is you just basically want to tuck all these down the side. So I'm just going to do that. So I'm just going to always tuck down the side. So that one's no, I can't quite see that one. Oops. So yeah, that one'll be tucked down there. That one's been tucked down already, and this one, basically the one between the first two cakes, has been tucked down as well. And tuck this one down here. Tuck that down there. And what you want to do is just basically um, stick them down to the side of the cake so they don't pop up. The last thing you want is going over the tubes and. To get shot out. So I'm just going to be stuck together, stuck down to the sides. Alright, so it's all been uh, fused together now. So that's the start fuse there. Goes both between those two cakes there. This is tucked, tucked the uh, two fuses down the side there. And those two there, just down the side there. And basically, that one is basically tucked down the side. It should be okay like that. And also put the, uh, the blue foam padding back in as well. 
And then these two fuses down there just being tucked in down the side and stuck down, and these two there. So hopefully this should uh, all go off in one, uh, with minimal delays between the cakes. Uh, it's not too long until bonfire night as well. It's only two days away. I'll be setting this on uh, this Saturday. I'll definitely be filming it as well, so be uploading this to my channel and see how it goes. Uh, really look, looking forward to this piece. Uh, also what I suggest doing with this piece is to um, put it over like a uh, wooden board as well, to, so it's got a nice stable platform to fire off. So um, I hope this all makes sense and uh, hopefully the video is clear to understand. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. So thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment. Thank you.